How do you two, but your old buddy Texas Tuber Tim, we're back with some more Cubecraft Skyblock. We uh we have Island number four unlocked, and we are we are it's expansion day. We need to expand the island. We're running out of space. In particular, I want to make a chicken and cow grinder, and and eventually I'm looking to relocate all those uh spider spawners over to another location if that's at all possible so we're going to expand in this direction um that by the way is where the first island was and so we're just going to settle in here actually i'm going to go let's do this i want to be here and we're going to get started so if it's your first time here my name is texas tuber tim you can go to texas tuber tim.com we have a website, has all of our social links, everything's in one spot, Twitter, Instagram, Discord, and YouTube, all in one space. You can even go find my Facebook page if you want to see that. The other thing I'll let you know is I'm a live streamer, so if you're watching this on the video playback, which you are, um, you can catch us live uh, when we play Minecraft and other Nintendo games, and you can join in on the fun on the live stream. See yourself in the bright lights of YouTube and uh, have a good time with us. So I would strongly recommend you sub the channel, subscribe, and consider uh, enabling notifications so you'll know when we're going to be live next. Uh, we do occasionally do some uh, streams off schedule. Saturdays and Sundays are usually er earlier in the day. Uh, by the way, 6.30 p.m. Central Time, if you're on the East Coast, that would be 5.30, I'm sorry, that would be uh, 7.30 your time. And if you're on the West Coast, like in California, that would be... 4.30. So, uh, 7.30 on the East Coast, 4.30 on the West Coast, and if you're in Texas like me, first off, congratulations for being a Texan. Secondly, all my times that I tell you are the the real times. You don't have to adjust for the time zone. So, um, that's what that's all about. Uh, Splatoon 2, Mario Kart 8, Pokemon Sword and Shield, uh, Rocket League, we play some Animal Crossing, some Smash, all the games that people like to play on Nintendo. Uh, you can find us playing them at some point in time on the live streams. And if you'd rather watch the recorded content, hey, keep watching. We appreciate you. However you can uh, join us, we're, we're happy to have you here. So um, that's that. Now this is... Uh, I've lost track, but we're about 20 episodes in on this Cubecraft, and um, we are trying to expand the base because there's some things we need to do uh, to kind of speed up some of the grindy nature of this game, uh, namely with XP. Uh, we're trying to upgrade some tools and do some things like that, and all that requires XP, so... Hopefully between the, the chicken cow grinder and possibly spawn a uh, spider spawner grinder We can uh, make a little quicker progress toward our goals and get things moving along a little quicker um, That's basically what we're up to we do need to do some more work on that fourth island, but um, I'm equally interested in getting to uh, later islands in particular I am itching to have some iron, like, in a bad way. So hopefully uh, we can get a little closer to discovering that. If you know, by the way, when we will discover our iron, uh, I would really appreciate knowing that. I uh, hope it's not the ninth island. Um, and I would love to find it when we get to island five. But we'll see what happens. Uh, we'll... We'll fight our battles as we get to them and, and make the best of what we have to work with here. So uh, the goal here is to basically create a little 8x8 area where we can 
put some uh, flowing water that will push the chickens and the cows over toward uh, one central location so that we can uh, just kind of sit there in one place and, and, and whack at them and uh, get the resources, get the XP, and, and all that kind of thing. So that's what we're trying to do right now. Uh, by the way, the reason I'm uh, building my my bottom layer out of wood is I've decided uh, wood is a little more easy to come by. Um, we do have cobble generators, but the cobble requires uh, picks and generally uh, takes a little longer because we have to wait for the cobble uh, generators to refresh and... Um, it, it just seems to take a little longer. Plus, we had some tree quest. Uh, in particular, we're still trying to get a total of 50 apples. I've lost track of where we are with that questing. I think we have about 15. But we have quite a few more we need before we'll be able to uh, complete the apple quest. But... Um, I'm really enjoying this game a lot. I, I love Minecraft. Anybody who's watched me live before knows uh, that I have a realm, uh, which I really enjoy playing with viewers on. We also do uh, viewer night. So uh, Minecraft's very near and dear to my heart. I, I just I just love a lot of things about it. Not the least of which is it's it's very fun to play with other uh, other people. So. Um, that would be something else worth mentioning if you've always wanted to get onto a realm with an, another person or even better, a live streamer. Um, we may be your shot at getting that done. We do a beer uh, night about once a week. Uh, sometimes more frequent, sometimes less frequent. But um, it's, it's all a matter of you kind of learning what our schedule is and um, Ideally, join in our Discord because that's when we uh, let everybody know what's going to happen before it happens. Uh, the key, by the way, with the viewer night is you want to be first in line. If you show up uh, five or ten minutes into the stream, you could likely be told there's no room in the lobby and and be uh, waiting for your, your turn to get in. So uh, all the more reason to hit that little bell on YouTube so that you'll get notified when we're going live. Uh, but even better, get in the Discord, and you'll know the schedule before it ever happens. You'll be you'll be waiting in the uh, YouTube channel before, right before we start the stream, uh, before anybody's bell rings and and they know that we're going live. So that's that. Looks like we're going to be a few short on our planks here. Uh, got two more, but that's still not going to be enough. And we'll run them back over here. We need to check on our cocoa bean again. And then do some more uh, tree clobbering. So we can get the wood we need to get this uh, buttoned up. We should have enough cocoa beans after doing this to finish that quest. In fact, looks like we'll have more than enough to finish. Go ahead and knock out this whole row and replant because I have no doubt there will be another cocoa bean quest where we'll need even more than a hundred to complete it. Um, some, some of these uh, tasks and whatnot are a little grindy, but um, the way I look at it is it's a challenge for me to figure out what's the quickest, fastest way uh, how can I make the whole process a little more efficient so that I don't have to uh, take any longer than, than what is truly necessary to uh, get it all done? Uh, did I miss one there? No. All right. Good deal. Uh, we're going to run over here. We're going to get some wood. When We need to repair tools again as well. We have these uh, stone tools because we've not yet discovered iron, which is a, a bit of a nuisance for sure. I'm, I'm really hoping uh, Island 5 is going to be my lucky, lucky island. 
Uh, that might be optimistic. We'll see what happens. Maybe someone who's played this before knows uh, when we'll discover iron and uh, put our minds at ease. I don't think it'll be the ninth island because at some point it's got to give us gold and uh, I, don't, I don't know if I'd get redstone or not. Probably gives you diamonds at some point. So I would say no later than six would be my guess. But uh, we'll just have to wait and see what happens. This uh, jungle island had more lapis on it and it has more coal on it. Which is stuff we need, but we already have it. We have... Oops, I uh, do not want to take that out. How much longer is that going to take, by the way, game? 13 minutes. It's been a long time coming getting those uh, jungle trees to grow, but I'm, I'm hoping once we get it done, we'll have a nice compact bit of uh, wood. And I have some ideas on how we can further uh, streamline... Uh, w wood gathering once we get that going um, and maybe reclaim all this area in here that's currently uh, occupied by trees for some other purpose maybe the spider grinder uh, more crops I don't, I don't really know yet we'll figure it out when we uh, get to that point of, of the uh, the game so we might see a jungle tree before this stream is over that would be nice. It, I think it took uh, upwards of an hour and a half, two hours from, from when we first planted it. And if it isn't obvious, I, uh, I sit down and I record a couple of these uh, episodes back to back. Uh, the goal is to get to a point where I can uh, maybe just do one a day every day or something like that. So you'll always have a little something to watch, uh, even if I'm not on a live stream. Okay, let's run back over here, get some more planks, and then we're going to figure out how we want to do this whole uh, spawner thing. Oop. Uh, Tim, you got to select the thing. The other thing I probably need to take a look at is I've got a lot of money here and I probably need to be buying some things. But um, I'm trying to kind of pace myself a little bit. All right, so what if we did a two space here and then let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three. So let's give ourselves three, three spaces for the lane. One, two, three. We'll start here. Then how are we going to do this? Um, so I'm going to have a water trench that goes this direction. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Not sure how this is how I want this. This is not how I want this. I think I'm making this complicated. All right, so one, two, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That would be the end of, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then one more. And then we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Do 
Did we count these off correctly? Okay, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then this is the wall. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, and then wall. Now all we need to do is fill this in. Now what I don't know is how we can set the spawners in here so that they will still uh, generate mobs. I'm hoping that this area is big enough and it doesn't cause problems for us. But um, my plan was see, so the center one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Yeah, so we need to go in four, one, two, three, four. So we could put the spawner there. Let's go see if this is going to work. So we have to use the pick. The other thing we'll want to do is we'll want to leave some kind of access port to where we can do the upgrades from up above it. But my goal was to do this. And then take these out. And then ordinarily when I when I touch it. Oh, you know what we may need to do? We may need to kill these, uh, these chickens and... I think it, it has a limited capacity. I'll just, uh, throw a million chickens out. Okay, they all gone. There we go. Cows, you coming out? There you go. Nice. Well done, cows. All right. Let's do this. We're going to go find our bucket. And we've, we've got milk in here. I don't know how to get rid of. Hopefully, we could just do this and it does water. Nope. Okay, how do I empty the bucket? This is going to be a problem. Alright, let's just buy a bucket.
All right, so you're no longer useful because you're milk, and I don't know how to drink you. I don't know why I can't drink milk, but whatever. So we put that in. If we did it right, it, yeah, perfect. It didn't come off the edge, so we did it correctly. And I think most people who play Minecraft know this, but once you have uh, three water blocks in a row, it creates an infinite water source. But that's, that's our goal right there. Alright, so let's do this. Let's put another row of blocks along the top. And, and I don't think we need to be concerned with uh, mobs here. At least not for the time being. Uh, chicken, I'm trying to work here. You're back. Beat it, chicken. All right, and then we're going to come in here. Uh, actually, we're going to go back over here. We're going to craft some half slabs. I need two stacks of that, or two go. And we want it right there. Oh, that's blocking the water. That's not good. Hmm. What if I do this and then that? Still blocks the water. Well, let's see what happens. I think this will work. Uh, but I don't. I don't want to do one high because then the chickens will get out. I think. Y'all need to get out of here. We're we're trying to work here, man. Don't worry, I'll 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 eat you in good time. You don't need to wait for it. He's trying to get with his cow buddies. All right. Uh, no, I don't want that there. I want a uh, full size. Grief. Uh, all right. Uh, let's get ready. This we don't need, and then uh, well, we need to watch the health of this sword. And, uh, what's our XP? Oh, we got a lot of XP. We're going to do some serious sword upgrades here, I think. Uh, let's go to the Skyblock Hub, please, good sir. Run over here. Enchant the sword, yes, please. Uh, I think I'm going to add some durability. Oh, we cannot afford it. Uh, got it. Okay, sharpness. Can't afford that either. Okay. We're going to wait. Oh, hopefully I've got some cobble. I think I do. This is one thing I don't understand. What the People just run right in front of me. Whatever happened to manners? You know what I'm saying?
Mr. Fancy Pants. Just because you got fancy armor doesn't mean you don't have to wait your turn. All right, let's go back to the overworld. And then we are going to run over here. We're going to do some uh, killing. Wait, why are you not dying? Okay. Laggy lags. So I'm used to doing all these machines and things with, uh, I don't know, um, hoppers and all that kind of stuff, but are we going to be able to reach y'all through here? Yeah, this is not looking to be ideal. I suppose we could have it push him out. Where are the chickens not coming? Have y'all seen any chickens? Oh, they're they're bobbing up top. Hmm. Alright, let's let's see. What if we do this? This is looking more promising. Okay, the only question is, do I need another half slab up here to keep them from uh, popping out? Half slabs, please. I'm not sure this is wholly necessary because it looks like those chickens are bobbing quite a bit. And I think given a choice, uh, the half slabs should go on the bottom, not the top. So let's, let's just see what that looks like. put that there all right uh, maybe this will just make this work well if any uh, start escaping we'll make some modifications to it but this is working okay I don't know that this is going to be a real good XP gr uh, grind but certainly for uh, the purpose of uh, getting our achievements, and I wasn't counting on one getting up on top of there. Which may affect uh, efficiency to a small degree. There's actually two up there now. Oh, and they're getting behind there as well. That's a little problematic. But yeah, this is uh, definitely a slow XP grind, but it still works. And best of all, we, we've uh, recaptured uh, some use of our other area. We kind of have these uh, clowns out of our way. All right, so let's look over here. We've got this going. Why, why have we not hit 13 minutes yet? Surely it's 
it's time for this tree to grow. Fully grown? What? It's not fully grown. Hmm. Could it be that these are interfering with it? Yes, it could. All right, uh, fair enough. We'll put one here and one here. And then let's step back and see what this looks like. Okay, that, that was not the gigantic tree I was hoping for, but... It's a start, and I'm hoping to resolve that later with um, with some uh, bone meal. Not sure when we're going to get skeletons, but I hope it's soon. So let's see. What if we go... Well, I don't want to be too close to that. do our approach from over here but I'm gonna basically make like a diving board so my ladder would go here and my stack block will be here And I'm going to go a little on the high side here so that I don't have to worry about um, the tree getting bigger one time over the next. How did that chicken get out of there? And that should put us on top of core of the tree so we can jump up there and do a down dig instead of having the jump stack and all that mess. All right, so let's do that. And we're going to end after we uh, finish this tree. We will have another uh, video on after this, so you all stay tuned for that. If you haven't already done so, please consider subbing the channel. TexasTuberTim.com has my uh, website address. You can find all the stuff and things over there. We're on Twitter, Instagram, Discord, YouTube. All kinds of ways to connect with me. Don't forget to uh, leave a comment or ask a question for that matter in the YouTube chat. You can uh, do that. I love to get uh, feedback from my viewers. I love the like. So smash that like button. Make Tim smile. Let us know what uh, you want to see next. Uh, share your ideas on what we should do differently or better. Uh, all that stuff is, is great. All right, so we need to make sure we catch the saplings that drop here. We want to make sure we at least uh, replant and hopefully get a few extras so we can uh, further expand on our, our jungle garden here. Like that. All right, so that's it for now. Uh, we'll have another video on after this if you're watching on the playlist. I'm going to take a short break and get another video going. So uh, y'all have a wonderful day, and above all, stay frosty.